Meet Nate. In school, he's been learning about the body. He's learned about the respiratory system for breathing. He learned about the circulatory system, which includes the heart and blood. And he even learned about the digestive system. <coughs> Next up is the immune system. But Nate doesn't know what that is. Boring. That night, after Nate fell asleep, Colonel Lucy Lucasite, commanding officer of Nate's immune system, decided to pay him a visit. <sighs> Rise and shine, son. I'm Colonel Lucy Leukocyte, commanding officer of your immune system. What? You're who? Your commanding officer, Immune System Brigade First Division. Our job, and we take it awful serious, is keeping you healthy. Who's we? Your immune system. We're a team of organs, tissues, and cells that work together to protect the body. Okay, but what does the immune system do? A tin hut. General Malaise, sir. General Malaise can tell you much, much more. At ease, Colonel. I hear we have ourselves a tough customer here. <laughs> Maybe he'll understand better if I show him what we're up against. <clears throat> As you can see, we face the following threats to your health. These threats include viruses and... Uh, bacteria, fungi, and parasites, sir. The flu is one virus that can really knock you for a loop. <sighs> Among bacteria, strep is a common one that can cause... A red, swollen, and very sore throat, sir. Uh, yeah, parasites can keep you in the bathroom with a case of... 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 Uh, that would be diarrhea, sir. Oh, dear. Uh, no one enjoys that now, do they, Nate? Oh, no. I sure don't. Which brings us to fungi. Oh, how a fungus loves a warm, moist area. Like the inside of a sweaty sneaker. Fungi causes the itchy skin condition called athlete's foot. All these enemies are microscopic. <sighs> Colonel, can you take it from here? I, I may go get some shut eye. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, General Malaise. All right. You're in for a treat, Nate, old boy. Turn on the super magnification cam. Let's take a look at what's going on inside your nose on a cellular level. Ooh-wee! Talk about good timing. Cold, cold virus, virus alert. alert. I repeat, I repeat. Cold, cold virus, virus alert. alert. This is not, not a drill. A drill. Cold, cold virus in Sector 72. 72. I'm going to get it cold? That stinks! We're supposed to go to the amusement park on Saturday. Well, let's see if we can stop that cold virus before it stops you. First, let me give you the lay of the land. Nate, here's our enemy, the cold virus. Now that it's in your nose, this cold virus wants to invade your cells. If they make enough cold virus cells, we'll start to feel sick. In other words, no amusement park. Take over my cells? How is that legal? Oh, it's like the Wild West in here, partner. But if we take these five steps, we might beat it in time. These are the steps we use every time we try to prevent illness in your body. Number one, identify the invaders. Number two, call for help. Number three, tag the invaders. Number four, destroy the invaders. And number five, remember the invaders. Immune, Immune system, system counterattack counter will begin in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Step one about to launch. There's one of the cold viruses, and here comes the macrophage to get us started. Now, the macrophage has eaten the cold virus. Good riddance. What's with the flag? Well, there are lots of viruses out there that can give you a cold, and we need to know what we're up against. The macrophage displays a small piece of the virus on its surface, like a flag. This flag is called an antigen. That's step one. So, is the cold virus dead or what? We've only just begun, son. Keep watching. Okay. Here comes the helper T-cell. We're in luck. 
They recognize the antigen flag and are calling for backup. The T-cells are calling for backup? How do they do that? T-cells release chemical messengers that signal other cells to move into the area. That's step two. Those B-cells are answering the call. B-cells make the antibodies that tag the cold virus as the germ we need to destroy. Come on, y'all, tag that virus. Tag, you're it. What's with all the whys? Those whys are the antibodies. Way to go, troops. Step three is done. We're on our way now. What else needs to happen? We need the killer cells. Keep your eye on the K-cells. Swallow them up, K-cells. Let's do it. Looking good. Victory's in sight, Nate. Hey, watch out. That virus is invading one of my cells. Oh, don't worry, hun. That infected cell doesn't stand a chance. We'll destroy it and stop it from spreading the virus. Remember the flag? Yeah, it tells other cells that there's a virus here. Right, and here comes a cytotoxic T cell. It recognizes that this cell is infected. This cytotoxic T cell will destroy the entire cell, including the cold virus inside. Don't they need that cell? Isn't my body made up of cells? It is, but you have trillions. Your body makes new ones all the time. And you sure don't need that infected one that can make you sick. Hi, <laughs> Diggity, we've done it again. Great work, creeps. Step four complete. Y'all get back to base camp for some well-deserved R&R, except for you guys. What do the M cells do? Nate, these cells are the memory cells that patrol the area and sound the alarm if that varmint virus ever tries to come back. Hey, Ams, make sure you remember this cold virus. Nate doesn't want to get sick next time, either. Yes, ma'am. The M's are doing their job, so step five is completed. Mission accomplished. General Malays, come in, General Malays. Malays here. Great news, sir. The battlefield is secured. Mission accomplished. Uh, General Malays, do, do you read me? <laughs> Darn nation. I'll have to brief old sleepyhead when he wakes up. Well, Nate, looks like you'll be headed to the amusement park on Saturday without a single sniffle or sneeze. All I can say is, whoa. So, do you think your immune system is boring now? No way. The immune system is the bomb. You should make a video game out of this. <laughs> Maybe we will, son. But for now, we'll just keep fighting a good fight and keeping you healthy. Oh, hey, look at the time. we got to be up for school at 0700 hours. And when you get a good night's rest, you help us do our germ-fighting job. Now, lights out. Thank you.